Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, you know, the upcoming energy, whenever it resonates, okay? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Yes, we're going to take those. They come flying out like that. It's got to happen. So anyway, this reading may or may not be for you. Key. Successful outcome to your problems. So we got a key. Wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So we have some indecisiveness. Scissors. That's always fun. Disappointment in some affair. So that means you're probably going to have to cut something out. What do you use scissors for? To cut. So you're going to have a successful outcome. You're indecisive right now. You're going to have, and you're disappointed. That's why you're indecisive. And you're going to have to use those scissors. By the looks of things. Um, so yeah, what do we got for Virgo? You're going to have a successful outcome. You are. But you have to make a decision. You can't keep letting your life ramble. You have to make a choice. And that will require you to use those scissors by the looks of things. So, what do we got for Virgo? Woo! We got a phone call. That changes everything. So there is a phone call coming. Okay. There's a phone call coming that changes everything. Wonderful. A phone call is coming that is going to change everything. What do we have for the Romance Angels deck? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you may be deepening a bond with somebody, opening up to somebody. This is somebody new because you're deepening, deepening a bond. I mean, I don't think this person is, is all that new, but I think that it's pretty new. Um, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. I think that you're going to be revealing yourselves to somebody, obviously. And as you do, it might be over the phone. I don't know. Um, your bond is going to continue to deepen. We also have, it is safe for you to love. So I feel like you're, you're protecting yourself in some way. Um, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So you, it, it, you notice it says give and receive. So you have to give and you have to be able to receive. It is safe for you to love at this time. You are going to be receiving a phone call that changes everything. It may cut. If you're not cutting somebody out, scissors can also cut you, okay? You can get cut yourself. Disappointment in some affair. It may hurt, okay? It may hurt. I don't know if you're going to receive a phone call. I'm not sure what it... Obviously, this is a phone call that changes everything. It's going to change your direction because wheels, you know, they, they turn, okay? So we got something in my head. They turn. Um, successful outcome to a problem. Things are going to end successfully. You could be dealing with somebody that is having some disappointment in their life right now. They don't know what they want. Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is suffering, right? It is the end. It is the death of a situation. It is painful. This is a breakdown. It is It is a catastrophe of some sort. This is, uh, it's over. Something is over. Something very, this is suffering. A lot have been stabbed right in the back. Somebody is hurting very, 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 very badly. They've been hurt in the past as well. Um, hold on, let me just get some of these cards. 
And then I have the Chariot Reverse and the Nine of Wands. So right now I think things are at a standstill. I think that things are at a complete standstill right now. Things aren't really moving forward. We definitely have indecisiveness here. We have somebody that isn't mastering their emotions. They are not moving forward. They're stuck. There's um, a lot of pain and betrayal that has happened in the past. In the future, we have an individual that is, um, they're, well, they're wounded. We have somebody here that is wounded, but they're, it's like they have a new exciting opportunity in their hands, and they're definitely thinking about taking it. This is somebody that may have given up. They, you know, they've reached a point where they're growing weary. They've come a long ways. Um, they've been hurt very, very badly. They're not taking action. They are probably going to give it a chance very, very soon. This person is struggling right now. There, there's a lot of things going on. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is hurting. They are uh, suffering. They're in some sort of pain. That's why they're not really um, coming towards you or they're not communicating with you. And I feel like right now things are at a complete stop. You're dealing with somebody that is facing a lot of life challenges right now. And, they, and it could be hurting you that they're not uh, taking the lead, that they're not coming towards you faster, or they're not doing what they need to do. Um, I do see things being at a complete standstill right now. Um, This person has no ambition, no drive. Uh, they uh, are feeling very, very, very worn down. Um, hold on, let me see what else I got here. Eight of Wands. They are going to communicate with you. Things are going to speed up in the very near future. This person is... You're dealing with somebody that has an ex or a person in their past that is... Uh, hard to deal with this person is uh doesn't compromise doesn't respect them steps over their boundaries bitches a lot i feel like and, and, and i don't know if this is like a stepmother or an ex or you know a boss there's somebody here that, and i don't know if this is for you or for your person there is somebody here that lacks respect for others and this person is very needy, very, very selfish, uh, uh, doesn't compromise, is really wearing somebody down. We have an individual that is, is really suffering. They are suffering. Um, they're dealing with somebody in their past that has hurt them as well. This person betrayed them, uh, an untrustworthy individual. They betrayed them. They... Uh, uh, disrespected them and that's why they're not they're not moving forward somebody isn't coming towards you like they should because they're dealing I feel like they're dealing with a bitch okay they're dealing with a bitch from their past and or this person just um, is draining them there is somebody that around your person that is draining them it's somebody from their past Right now, right now, your person uh, is lacking ambition. They're lacking drive. They're feeling emotionally drained. They have no confidence in themselves. And maybe, and, and this could be you. This could be you or them. We have a person here that has no confidence in themselves. And it's because of the past. It's because of, you know, the being stepped on, being put down, being belittled, being... Uh, harassed. Somebody may also be being harassed by somebody in their past. Um, I do definitely see a lack of communication or miscommunication or, you know, having a hard time communicating because of, you know, a serious betrayal here. But anyhow, um, right now things are at a dead stop because you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have the ambition or the drive or the energy to uh, express or, or to open up or follow their heart or something like that. You're dealing with somebody that is emotionally drained, okay? And that is no joke. No joke. And you may be feeling emotionally drained as well. 
I, I feel like this is your person though. I think that I, I feel like your person that you are asking about um, is in some sort of fear because with the chariot reversed, the king of wands reversed, and the page of cups reversed. So this is like fearful. This is fearful of opening the heart, you know, uh, fearful of being rejected, uh, fearful of uh, being rejected. That's what it looks like to me. But I feel like this individual um, is going to be uh, making a, a choice. They're going to be choosing another option. Right now they're dealing with somebody that they don't work well with. This person um, doesn't listen, does not. This, this is a know-it-all. This is a know-it-all that, you know, you can't say, get one word in with this person. Um, and you could be dealing with this person. We, we have an individual in this reading it, it, that is very bitchy. This is a bitch, okay? This is a bitchy individual who is very uh, dishonest, has some tricks up their sleeve. This person is uh, causing another person a lot of pain. Very cold, cold energy. You're dealing with somebody that is dealing with a cold-hearted bitch. And they're afraid of her. Anyhow, I think this is about your person. I feel like you I feel like you have a person here that is going to be we got next to the King of Wands reverse, we have the Eight of Cups, that is goodbye. Making an alteration, leaving this bitch behind. You know, you're dealing with somebody that is going to say goodbye. They are going to communicate more and more and more and more and more. Things are gonna increase, they are gonna speed up for you. After there's going to be a change with these eights, okay. Um, I think that I think that you need to not give up because whoever it is that you that things are stalled with right now, I feel like this person is going to be moving in your direction. They're going to be communicating with you. They're going to be opening up. I think there's going to be a change. I think there's going to be some, you're going to receive a message or a lot of messages from somebody. If you are single right now um, and you're looking for a love reading, you may be uh, talking with somebody that isn't really communicating with you right now because they're going through something. They may be going through something with somebody from their past that really betrayed them, that really hurt them. This person may be trying to manipulate them, you know, trying to manipulate them for money or manipulate them for something and it's overwhelming. There is definitely some sort of sort of overwhelmingness here. Maybe it may have something to do with money. Um, you are going to be receiving a phone call that changes everything. Somebody is, is leaving, they're going someplace. All is not as it seems. I happen to just focus on this moon. Moon is all is not as it seems. Okay? It's all is not as it seems. You're going to be receiving some sort of communication soon. Somebody may have ghosted you or abandoned you. I do see a turning point here. You're dealing with an individual that is very challenged right now and you may be at a point where you want to give up on this person you just want to wait you want to leave you don't you know you're thinking you know what this person's not communicating with me they're they're woe is me they're they're lacking energy they're lacking drive they're not taking any action you know my advice is to just hold on and I don't say that very often ever um, I think I don't think this is uh, somebody from your way past. I feel I, like I said I feel like it's somebody fairly new. I don't know why I feel that way. Don't give up. I, the, the Nine of Wands is don't give up. Five of Pentacles, abandonment, ghosting, being left out in the cold, neglected.
but choosing not 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 getting any help choosing to we have a beggar here somebody that is begging they're begging somebody may be begging for something Page of Swords, a message is coming. You're going to be caught off guard. You are going to be caught off guard. Knight of Swords, this is an entrance or an arrival, an approach. Somebody is, this is a sudden arrival, a sudden approach, direct, honest communication, very, very chatty, very talkative. Somebody is uh, going to be throwing themselves forward it's like i must do this i got to go this is a this is taking and this is a new approach taking a new approach we have somebody here that is about to uh come rushing this is rushing in they're going to come rushing you're going to be receiving some communication that is going to catch you off guard Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Cancer. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't really matter because we have every sign in our chart. Be prepared. You're going to receive some communication. We have an individual that isn't very happy right now with the sun reversed. Somebody isn't happy. You could be receiving some news that uh, you don't want to hear too as well. We got the Page of Swords with the Sun. I went to clarify that Page of Swords reversed. That is a message that is coming. It may not be what you want to hear with the Sun reversed. It may have something to do with a child. There could be news that has to do with a child. It may not be good news. I mean, you may be receiving some good news. I mean, bad news, something about a child. I mean, I hate to give you, I hate to say that because... I don't like to. I, I, I don't. Nobody wants to hear any bad news about their children. Uh, five of Pentacles is uh, begging, begging. I, I wonder if somebody is. It's like begging. Somebody needs help. There's an unhealthy situation here. We have somebody here that is not healthy. They need help. So somebody, you, you may even have a child that contacts you. They're not happy. They need some sort of help doesn't have to be a child. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands on the bottom. That is a force to be reckoned with. A boss, a leader, somebody that is in a position, a strong position. This is a, a strong. You're going to have to be strong as well. Um, Ten of Pentacles reverse. You're going to receive news. It may have to do with a family member. Ugh. Pentacles reverse. That is financial loss, financial ruin, the collapse of an empire, the end of a legacy, unstable, insecure home life, family feud, family argument. Right next to that page of swords, we have somebody here that is very unhealthy, extremely unhealthy. This is an extremely unhealthy, I don't know what it is, but. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, I don't know if it's a child. You know, the sun can be children, and so can't the page of swords. Ten of pentacles reversed is unstable. Business or home life. It's a total loss. The ten of pentacles reversed. It's a total loss. You're going to need to be strong. You are seriously going to need to be strong. You're dealing with a fire sign for some of you. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be dealing with both.
there's probably going to be a change in residence or a change in a living situation with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. You do have somebody that is coming in, or there is somebody that is coming in. This is some, with that Knight of Swords. This is somebody that is putting some plans in action. They are on a mission. I don't know if there's somebody that has been neglected. I don't know if it's a child. Anyhow, there is going to be a change in a living situation. And somehow, and it could be your person, because I keep talking about your person. Your person may be dealing with something that has to do with children. And it's interesting, because I was right here, and I didn't say anything on my deck that I created. Children are a factor. This has to do with children. Your person that you are asking about is, oh, this card just fell off. Ooh, caution, caution, caution tape. I don't know if there's a crime being committed or there has been, a, and they're dealing with that. There's some something going on here that is, I don't know if it's a crime. That, you know, I think, I think that we have an individual here that is hiding something. I do, with that moon card. I think that, I think that uh, you are going to be getting to know somebody. I think that they need you. They probably need your help to heal from something that has to do with their children or their ex, and it may take a minute. You don't give up on them. And... So yeah, I think you're going to be caught off guard by some information that you receive. I think this person, whoever we're talking about, is going to contact you and tell the, tell you. I think they're going to tell you. I think they're going to communicate with you as to why, you know, they haven't been moving forward or things have been stalled or this anger here too. So there's anger with the with the chariot reversed and the king of wands reversed. That's like an angry outburst to head. You know, you could be dealing, you could be dealing with it very, you may have an angry outburst or you're going to dealing with somebody that is going to have an outburst. This person cannot control their emotions right now. You know, they can't. There could be definitely some tears shed as well with the Page of Cups reversed. There's something going on with a child that is disheartening and it's either with your person or it's with you. And but there is going to be a successful outcome to your problems. You're going to have to be strong, whether you're being strong for yourself or you're being strong for your person. Um, you're dealing with somebody that is experiencing a lot of pain right now, and uh, you're going to have to be strong. So this is going to be a week where um, you might not be happy with the circumstances that are going on, but there's going to be a successful outcome. Good luck.